Hello everybody. Um, today in this video, we're going to do another tutorial for the uh, differential equations in uh, Excel. Um, and the video we uh, did uh, last time was discussing the same thing, but it was um, a differential equation that was function of y. Uh, there was no dependence on x on this equation. So we are doing this to uh, give uh, another example to uh, make more exercises and see how will um, the uh, solution will be different uh, when you do it as a function of x and y. So we're doing this equation which is dy by dx equals negative 2y plus x plus 4. Uh, again these are the same Rangicotta equations that we're gonna use which we used last time and um, this is how they are gonna be calculated uh, based on this equation. So this is the function negative 2y plus x plus 4 and this is k1 which is h multiplied by negative 2y plus x plus 4 and then for k2 it will be y plus k over 2 and x plus h over 2 the same here for k3 and for k4 it will be y plus k and x plus h and uh, we have the initial conditions x node equals 0 and y node equals 1 and the step will be 0.005 um, again you are free to pick the value of the step that you want but uh, 0.005 sounds reasonable uh, for this uh, value of x that you're gonna um, end up with so the final uh, goal is to see what is the value of y at x equals 0.5 so we are gonna put the initial con the initial values here x node and y node which is I would prefer to put it like this this equals that and uh, oops uh, I'm sorry this is b2 and this equals this okay so uh, I think something went wrong yeah okay. Uh, and we'll, we'll do the same thing we have the column for x column for y and the four k's here so we're gonna calculate the four k's based on the initial value of x and then uh, initial value of y and then calculate y so um, we do calculate the negative uh, the next x from the previous one plus the step and we'll put f4 and uh, Okay, and then calculate K1. So K1 is calculated from, um, as we see, it's the same equation, but calculated from Xn and Yn, which are the previous X and Ys. Okay, so um, we have the equation. Uh, it's going to be um, the step um, and F4 multiplied by negative 2Y uh, plus X plus 4 oops plus 4 okay um, so this is the equation negative 2y plus x plus 4 and this is multiplied by the step and the next one it's gonna be the same thing the step and a 4 multiplied by negative 2 multiplied by y plus k1 over 2 and close the bracket plus x oops open a bracket x plus h this and f4 over 2 and um, so we do this f4 for the uh, for the step because step will, will not change it's gonna be the same for all the uh, all the steps but this k will be calculated from or the, the k depends on the previous one for each uh, for each line so we don't need to freeze it and then plus 4 and we're gonna take this just to save some time and paste it here the only difference would be that this is c8 which is k2 uh, everything is gonna be the same oops and uh, negative 2y plus x plus 4 okay this this sounds good uh, and the last one would be the same that this doesn't have over 2 and this doesn't have over 2 this is D uh, and uh, this is done the last step is gonna be Y from the previous one plus uh, the first plus double the second double this second plus double 
the third plus the fourth over two and here is the first step so we're gonna go down 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 till we reach the end of that uh, thing oops this is I think there's something wrong this shouldn't be the value I'll, I'll double check there might be some small mistake and this would uh, ruin the whole thing so again we need to double check it's negative 2y plus x plus 4 negative 2y plus k over 2 uh, plus x plus h over 2 plus 4 uh, K X plus H plus 4 it looks good to me but I know the final value is not the oh it is over 6 uh, I'm sorry this is a mistake I made this is over 6 not over 2 uh, I'm sorry um, that's why it's uh, giving wrong values and yeah this is the right value so it should be 1.724 um, again I'm glad that these mistakes happen because uh, this is one one of the problems of doing differential equations on Excel. You might feel that everything is good, but I, I, I personally, if I don't know that this is the the solution, I wouldn't have noticed that there is something wrong. Um, so it's it's good to um, to know that this is uh, very easy to happen in Excel. Um, so let's see how we can do this on MATLAB and see how easy is it. So let me clear everything. Okay, so this is the differential equation again. I made the differential equation or the the um, the file that I'm gonna put my equation is called the equation. It's like differential equations, and this is only one uh, equation: negative two y plus x plus four. Again, I'm gonna do um, just write that uh, line. Uh, I'm gonna ask MATLAB to calculate the x and y. Uh, from using this uh, module file, it's ODE45 that uh, does the differential equations and then get the equations from this file, it's um, def equation and then I'm gonna start from 0 to 0 0.5 with a step of 0 0.005 so this is the uh, range of x and the initial value of y equals 1 and I'll press enter and you see it's pretty pretty simple uh, just one enter and everything is ready you have here the x and y uh, x starts from zero the step point oh five uh, oh oh five going down down till it reaches point five and y starts from one uh, you kind of ca can um, compare the values so the initial the first line was point one point oh oh nine nine it's almost one point oh one which is the same here the second one point oh one nine eight here 1.099 so it's almost the same values and the last value here is 1.7241 the last value here 1.724 almost one so uh, it's giving the same value everything is the same uh, but again uh, the the purpose of this video is to show you that MATLAB uh, or any other software that can do the differential equations uh, with a built-in module will be much much more easier and uh, quicker and safer you will not have the uh, a probability a high probability of mistakes as you have in Excel so hope uh, this helps and I'll see you later bye bye